In the figure shown, WZ and XY intersect at point Q. YQ equals 63, WQ equals 70, WX equals 60, and XQ equal 120. What is the length of YZ? So let's start by labeling these distances on the diagram. So YQ equals 63, so the distance from Y to Q is 63. W to Q is 70, so W to Q is 70. And X to Q is 120, so this is 120. And we need to find the length of YZ. So the first thing we notice is that angle A here is common to both triangles. And this angle here at point Q, we'll say this is angle B, is equivalent in both since these are vertical angles. They are opposite to each other, so they, their measure is the same. Since both of these triangles have two angles that are congruent, it means that these two triangles are similar. And since they are similar, it means their sides are proportional. So, and using the angles, we see that the side between, that, ha that includes angle A and angle B in both triangles are proportional. That means their ratios, so the ratio of y q, y q to w q should equal the ratio of y z to the ratio of w x. Oh, we forgot to label this one side here. It says WX is equal to 60. So we know that YQ is equal to 63. WQ is equal to 70. YZ is what we're going to solve for. And WX is also equal to 60. So using this relation that we derived since these two triangles are similar, we can solve for yz. So we can multiply both sides by 60. So on the right hand side these two will cancel and on the left we'll be left with 60 times 63 over 70 and that should equal yz. So if we put that into our calculator 60 times 63 is equal to 3,780, and that divided by 70 is equal to 54. So yz equals 54.